So next uh, program to be executed is using a string comparison function. String comparison function is going to compare two strings. Okay. So if the comparison value, the two strings are same, it returns zero. Otherwise, it returns some ASCII value difference. ASCII value difference. Suppose just you look at the example. STR CMP. STR CMP of Cap small a capital a like this i may give so actually what is ask you of uh, small a this is 90 7 minus 65 this is 22 suppose i may give string comparison of small a small a it is going to give what zero so same for same comparison we may use another function called str cmp i this is case instance to means uh, just it compares strings it is not looks for uh, case sensitiveness suppose here it is going to return 22 if i give like this small a capital a it is going to return what zero okay like that it is going to give preference now just to look at the program I am going to uh, determine whether given string is palindrome or not without using any string reverse function. Without using any string reverse function. Just to look at the declarations. String 1, I have declared it with 15 characters. String 2, I have declared it with 15 characters. I, J, sorry, L, I, J, three variables I took of integer type. So here I am reading the string 1. String 1 uh, length will be determined into L variable. Okay. So in the next line just I am printing L. See here this is the main loop which is for uh, uh, reversing a string. Okay. So after reversing the string what happens here from uh, backward side. Okay. So backward side I am going to store into string 2. See here L contains what? Suppose L is something like think. Okay, something like think, L equal to something like think. So think length is how many characters? Five characters. But so this just imagine this is string one and string two. So in string two, I am designing. I am assigning what string two. So the just to look at the loop. So in the loop, what I take here? Uh, I equal to L minus one. Why L minus one? Because length is five characters. But we have to start from fourth character onwards. Okay, we have to store. Uh, we have to store from fourth character onwards into string two. Okay, that is why I take. I am taking what I equal to. Just to look at that. I equal to L minus one. L minus one means five minus one. Five minus one means it is four. From fourth character onwards. What I have given? Just you look at the loop. This is the main concept you have to observe here. I equal to L minus one. J equal to zero. I equal to L minus one. J equal to zero. I is greater than or equal to zero means. I is, point, I is a pointer for which one? String 1 array and J is a pointer for string 2. Okay. So I is pointing in, uh, pointing in reverse direction. J is pointing in uh, forward direction. Okay. String 2 of J. String 2 of J equal to how much? What is the starting value of J? J, J this is for string 2. I it is for string 1. Okay. I will be coming in reverse direction. J will be going in which direction? Forward direction. This is I value will be in reverse direction like this. J value it, will, it is in forward direction. So just to look at the logic. String 2 of J. What is the starting value of J? Starting value of J equal to 0. Okay. Starting value of J equal to 0. So the last character, fourth character of string 1 will be assigned as what? So this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. The last character. So this will be assigned as what? 0th character of string 2. Next i is decremented j is incremented means here what happens k is assigned next i minus minus i minus minus means what happens here n okay previously i value is 4 4 minus 1 3 so third character of string 1 will be assigned as first character of string 2 i plus plus j sorry i minus minus j plus plus so this will be assigned as this one and next i will be assigned as <coughs> k 
K-N-I-H-T like this characters are reversed so after uh, reversing so the last character of string 2 I am assigning as null character because so without uh, string, uh, without st null character assignment I cannot compare string 1 with string 2 because already string 1 is assigned as null character okay string at the end of the string 1 automatically a null character is assigned okay at the same time what, what do we have to do at the end of string 2 also we have to assign what null character okay jth character jth position so what is the final position of j actually so this is the final position finally j becomes how much fifth character so here i am assigning what fifth character here also i am assigning fifth character so just to look at the next line if string comparison string 1 comma string 2 equal to 0 that means if string 1 string 2 both are equal what i am printing here my message is percentage s is polyndrome else percentage s is not a polyndrome just to look at the execution part i may give think think is not a polyndrome string uh, think length is five characters i will give uh, some other character like malayalam Malayalam is palindrome. Your dad is a palindrome. Like, like this without using any string reverse function. So it will be helpful for determining whether a given string is a palindrome or not. Okay. Palindrome means so any direction in forward direction, reverse direction. It will be giving same uh, it will be giving same so when two are same what happens here we can conclude that it is a palindrome otherwise it is not a palindrome suppose it is a think is not a palindrome madam is there so madam means just you reverse it so when you reverse it what happens you will be getting same string madam okay so this type of words are called as palindromes okay so that palindromes I have determined that means whether a given string is palindrome or not without using any predefined function of course for comparison i am using string comparison function but main logic is for reversing okay for reversing i am not using any predefined function so directly means manually i am assigning uh, one character character by character okay character by character i am assigning into string 2 from string 1 okay after assigning string 1 into string 2 in reverse order finally what i am doing here string 2 of j means the last character i am assigning into null okay because this is a manually assigned so for manually assigned the compiler is not going to assign any null string okay for string 1 automatically null character is assigned okay so when null character is null character is assigned at the end of string 2 what happens two strings become equal okay so string 1 string 2 equal to 0 then given string is palindrome otherwise given string is not a palindrome so this is without using any predefined function like string reverse okay for comparison i have used what string comparison string 1 comma string 2 when both are equal it, it is going to return 0 it is going to return what 0 this is just like small a and small a okay so it is going to compare strings so this is about palindrome program so next uh, i will show string comparison i function how it will work string dot h clone stdio dot h character string one comma <coughs> string two
just you read a string using get ch before that you print a message enter string 1 read the string into string 1 character array get s ok read next string printf enter string 2 get s string 2 use character strings comparisons printf comparison of percentage s and percentage s string comparison i string 1 comma string 2 string comparison str s c m p y is string 1 comma string 2 comma this is like this 0 see RR capital RR is 0 but if I use I if I remove this see what happens RR it is 32 capital S, small r capital R both are compared in between this is going to give 32 so here also this is 32 not 22 32 just you make it 32 32. If I use string comparison I, see the difference. G capital G is 0. If I give uh, I value just like this, G capital G is 32. Like this. String comparison function compares ASCII values. String comparison I function. That is just it is exact exactly look for characters, not ASCII values. Okay, so this is about uh, string comparison, string comparison and string functions strings session. Okay.